Good morning, everyone. I'm TJ, and today I want to show how you can idealize or simplify geometry in NX. You usually want to idealize the geometry in order to prepare the geometry for meshing. And I will use examples for, from NX Help and from Pavel Gonsharov's book, Engineering Analysis with NX Advanced Simulation. I will use a three-step recommended approach. First, I will try to use utilize symmetry and trim away parts of the CAD model. Uh, and then I will use synchronous modeling commands to de-feature the 3D geometry. Uh, finally, I will check out if it's feasible to use uh, dimension reduction, that means create mid-surface models based on the solid geometry. This is my first example from NX Help. As you can see, it, uh, it's a symmetric solid model. So the first thing I will do now is to go to the application pre and post, and then I will create an idealized part file and a fem file, because I don't want to idealize my master part. There we are. Then I make my idealized part file as a displayed one, and I have to promote it. Then I go back to the application modeling, because now I will try to utilize the symmetry. So the first thing I will do is to create some datum planes, uh, and I'm using bisector, so I could choose this, these two surfaces, and uh, these two, for example. And then I can use uh, trim body. I use this body and I select this plane. Apply and I select the same body and the other plane. So here I have a quarter model. Now I don't know want to look at the datum planes anymore, so I switch them off. So here we are. Now I've utilized uh, step one, the symmetry. The next thing I will do is to remove the blends. So here I can use the delete face command and I don't want to select a single face but connect the blend faces. So I choose one of the blend faces and uh, NX automatically detects these blends and now I can remove them. Uh, then I can uh, uh, remove these uh, chamfer faces, but then I have to use single face instead. Select that one and that one. And I could also use a command called replace face. Then I could replace this face, this face, with that face. So now you see pretty much every details are gone. I could also remove the holes. There is also um, an automatic command in NX that works with the idealized geometry that automatically removes uh, blends and small holes. You just give a diameter uh, or radius and it automatically identifies the holes and deletes them for you. So that's the, most the easiest way to do it. So now I could go on and I could mesh this model. Um, but um, I yeah I could uh, you do something else as well. Uh, in order to make this model even simpler, I could go to yeah I have to go to the application pre and post, and then I create mid surface by face pairs. I choose this command, and I select a body, and here I can automatically create face pairs. I press on press on this button. And I can ask NX to hide all solid bodies upon apply. So there we are. Now I've reduced the model even more, so now I only use the mid surfaces. So that's um, another step to make. And uh, now I want to go to my finite element model, the FEM file. Uh, when these mid-surfaces are created, they are not automatically stitched. So I have to make sure that they are stitched together. So I use stitch edge. I could also use sew edges. 
uh, in uh, the modeling task and I press apply. Then you can see here that there are no free edges between the surfaces that are supposed to be connected. Then I can uh, do a 2D meshing on this one. And I use the lightning to check a proper default size. I usually choose a smaller size. Okay, so here we are. And it looks like uh, there are no duplicate nodes along the edges because the mesh seems to be consistent. But I can also make a test and I can go to duplicate nodes, choose all nodes, and I can list nodes and there are no duplicate duplicated nodes. So that's uh, a quick presentation on a very simple example how you can create a mesh on a mid-surface of a solid. Uh, I could also mention that um, in order to sp specify the thickness of the solid you can select the mesh, right click and edit mesh associated data. And here you can specify the thickness. It could be directly uh, uh, defined in a menu, but you can also choose mid-surface at every node, and then uh, the nodes will automatically adopt the thickness from the underlying solid. So let's check how it looks like now, if it's correct. We can plot the thickness contours. And here you see that the red flange was 20 millimeters thick, the blue uh, ribbon was 10 millimeters and uh, the green uh, tube was 15 millimeters, so that's correct. My next example is from engineering analysis with NX Advanced Simulation by Pavel Goncharo. And you can see the example presented in chapter two called Preparing a Geometry Model. Uh, this is the model and uh, as you can see it uh, no symmetry here so we can't cut away the model and simplify it that way what i want to show you is how you can create uh, or prepare this model for mapped or swept meshing in nx uh, in the book um, pavel is showing how you can create mid surfaces but i used uh, my first example for that purpose so what i will do now is to go directly to the synchronous modeling uh, features and I will select delete face. Uh, the first thing I will do is to remove this one. I simply remove all faces and it's gone. I cut away or remove those faces too. I can easily select all blends in just one command but here I want to control what I'm doing. So I study each face because I want to partition the model so it can be swept meshed by solid brick elements. So I remove all blends and I think they are gone. I could remove the holes but uh, I select to keep them. So that's it. And uh, now I have idealized geometry and I want to go to my application task pre and post and I want to create a new PEM model. Since I've already uh, idealized the geometry, I don't cr create an idealized geometry file. I choose the default options. So this is the model now. Now I can easily um, make a tet mesh of this one, but if I'm trying to create a solid map mesh, I won't be able to choose any of these surfaces because the um, basic shape is too complex. Uh, so what I have to do is to go back to, well, I have to activate the part file. I have to go back to the modeling application and I create datum planes. And I use the two line option. First I choose this edge and this edge, apply. And then I choose these two edges and I choose uh, two edges here and 
there we are and I need another two um, planes I use inferred I choose that surface and this one then I want to not trim the body I want to split the body so I choose that that body and I use this surface I use this surface or datum planes and I can also do it with this one so then I have partitioned most of the solids here but I still have to partition this one and I choose whoops uh, that plane and that one okay so now you can see I put separated the bodies so I have different bodies here and then I'm fine I press ctrl w and I get rid of the datum planes I don't need them anymore then I go back to my application task pre and post and I want to display the fem file and get a message that the model is actually partitioned after the partitioning uh, I am now able to use the 3d swept mesh command to create hex element meshes of the individual parts or instances so here you see I could choose one of the surfaces and it will create a shell type of surface mesh which will be swept across the thickness of the uh, solid primitive and I just choose use the multi-body infer target and then it will automatically find the opposite side of the 3d solid I don't need to guide it sometimes I have to but not for this geometry so there we are we have a hex mesh uh, the problem now is that after the partitioning these uh, solids are not glued together so if I check duplicate nodes and I choose all nodes you see there uh, there are duplicate nodes along the common surfaces I could merge the nodes and that would uh, solve my problem but the best practice is here to use mesh mating which try to uh, um, remove the duplicate nodes or connect the element meshes from the individual primitives so after gluing I press apply now it's glued then you can see that I'm prompted to update my FEM model because after the mesh mating it will try to uh, remove duplicate nodes and make a consistent mesh all over my geometry so now if I try to check duplicate nodes once more there is no issue no duplicate nodes found so that shows best practicing in uh, partitioning or idealizing geometry for mapped meshing my last example is also uh, shown in chapter 2 of Pavel Goncharov's book it's a solid uh, geometry and uh, it's a quite thin walled uh, geometry so you could use both uh, mid surfaces and uh, shell meshing here or solid meshing uh, I want to cho show you how you can easily uh, idealize geometries like this using the, Id the idealized geometry command applied on idealized part files so here I will first go to the application pre and post I choose my geometry file and I create a new FEM and uh, idealized part file then I make my part idealized part file as the displayed file and I have to promote it then I'm ready to apply um, synchronous modeling commands uh, which are the most common choice here so I could use delete phase as I did in the previous example connect the blend phases and apply but there are still lots uh, more uh, 
uh, of, um, of blends here. And the next way to, to get rid of those is to apply the command um, insert model preparation idealize. So here I can easily select the whole body and I can automatically detect and remove blends of a certain size. So here the radius is set to 2 millimeters. If I increase it to 5, you see it will automatically include all blends on this model. And I don't want that. So I can use 2 millimeters, which um, identify these blends. There's quite a few. And um, I could also include holes. Here the diameter size is set to 10 millimeters, which uh, include pretty much every hole in this model. And uh, that's not a good choice, I think. So I deactivate that one. And then I press apply. And then you see all my small blends are gone.